We're talking swimming at Scranton High School. Dave Drouse, the head coach with us for the boys and the girls. And Dave, let's talk about some of the talent you have this season. Well, uh, going forward, uh, we have an upperclassman uh, that came uh, returning. Uh, st uh, one of them was down at State of Sears, the District 2 champion. Uh, and three of the relay team for the boys have returned this year uh, that were also our district champions that proceeded to states. Uh, we also have uh, upperclassmen on the girls' side, uh, Claire Breyer, who, who's also here today with us. Uh, she's uh, looking to get her first district title as a senior. And then Abby Eckenrode, who's a junior this year, will also be looking to make her mark this year on District 2. At Scranton, you talk about getting kids involved, talk about your numbers where you're at and just trying to get kids out for the sport and then once you get them out trying to improve on their times. Uh, that's correct. Uh, we uh, try to recruit directly from the school. There's also a junior program that swims at Scranton High School so we do get some athletes that come up through that program also. Um, this year we had a big influx of uh, people who never swam before so as you had just mentioned uh, we do have to get them in the water, see where they're at, work on the skills that they have and just take it from there. What some of the competition you faced thus far? Of course, uh, taking on rival, rival West Scranton is always nice uh, for those swimmers and for you. And, and I'm sure there's a lot of energy at a meet like that. Yeah, the West Scranton meet, there's a lot of energy there. And of course, we did win it. And it was, it was you know, the kids were definitely happy about that. Um, some of the other meets we did, uh, Abington did an invitational. It was early on in the season, which gave us a feel of what we needed to work on and what we could look forward to from the athletes. Uh, upcoming, our next, in our next week, we are swimming at Tunkhannock. They're doing an invitational. We also are swimming Scranton Prep this week. Let's talk a little bit about your swimming background and what you offer to the Knights. Uh, my swimming background, well, I been, uh, came up through West Granton High School myself. Some of my records are still there for school records. Uh, I've been to States myself also and continued my swimming career throughout my life and then eventually moved on into coaching and started off actually at West Granton High School. Uh, then went to the junior program and it came up on to uh, the Scranton High School program then. Overall, you see these kids growing as, as young men and young women uh, in the pool. How about outside the pool? Talk about uh, the swimming community, uh, usually really positive, doesn't matter who you're swimming against. You just see uh, kids out there having fun, punching the time clock, putting in the work. But what do these kids like to do outside the pool for, for a little camaraderie? Uh, well, the thing that is, uh, when you look at what they have to do with the schoolwork and everything else, it tends that their swimmers are, um, do have great academics and everything else. Uh, and then because they spend so much time in the pool and a lot of times their classes or in grade levels with the younger kids, uh, as they come up, they stay together and they do other activities. Uh, two years ago, we actually went up to Robus Tree Farm as a team building exercise and they had a great time sitting around the fire pit and you know we did team building games too. Let's talk about going forward with this uh, swimming program. What do you hope to do as, uh, as the years go on at Scranton? Uh, as the years go on, uh, we're a little bit in a rebuilding phase. Like I said, we did get a lot of young athletes. We did, on the girls' side, we did lose quite a few. Uh, so we're, we're trying to build upon the, the talent that we do have in the water. Uh, also, this year we've incorporated some more dry land at the beginning of the season before the athletes got in the water. Uh, right now we're predominantly in the water at this point, but we are trying to look to make our mark at the district meet this year. Dave, great to hear from you and uh, hear about the Scranton Swim Program. We appreciate your time. Okay, thank you. Jason Arden joining us from Scranton as we talk swimming. And uh, Jason, let's talk about your events. What events do you compete in at Scranton? Uh, I prefer to do the freestyle events, but recently in uh, past meets I've been doing the 100 fly, and uh, I do enjoy doing that a lot more than I have in the past. How about your best events? Uh, what would you say the top one is? Uh, last year we took a states team to uh, 200 free relay, so I, I'm a relay guy. I like doing the relays. It's your junior year, so uh, getting a little bit more under your belt. What are you hoping for uh, some of the goals that you have this year? Uh, this year I'm trying to break 23 in the 50 freestyle off the block. Uh, I'm hoping to maybe get some college is um, interested in how I'm swimming. Baseball, cross country, a couple sports you play. Uh, talk about what you enjoy about those when you're playing them. Uh, baseball I've been playing since I was uh, four, I believe, and it's really it's, it's uh, my passion. I, d I actually started swimming because of baseball to help my baseball skills, and it just kind of took off for me. And cross country, um, I just do it in the off season just to keep in shape. French club and Latin club, pretty interesting. Uh, that's something that yeah. you really enjoy and, and talk about what are some unique things maybe you do with each of them. Uh, the clubs are basically just kind of um, uh, French club. I, I joined because I have a lot of friends in there and I like to they go on a trip and I 
do know some French, but at Latin Club I took for the first two years of my high school, and I just kind of do that just to get involved out of sports, out of school. Let's talk about uh, you have a, a younger brother, Mattingly. Uh, yeah. Tell us how old he is and, and what he's up to. Uh, he's four years old. He's kind of a bit of a troublemaker, um, you know, typical for a little kid, but he's nice. In the, in the end, he's a sweetheart. Is he a swimmer yet? Uh, he loves to swim, actually, yes. We have a pool in our backyard, and he loves to swim back and forth all the time. Well, I'm sure he's going to be looking up to that big brother. Yep. Let's talk about the classroom. You got that down. You're a math and science kind of guy, A-plus average. So let's talk about what you enjoy about those subjects. Uh, I don't know. Ever since I was young, it just they kind of clicked in my head, and I really enjoy it. It, it just makes sense. I like it. And uh, life after high school, uh, physical therapy, the route you're thinking? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Before I thought pharmacy, but now I just actually recently did a career shadow, and I really enjoy physical therapy. I like helping out people that are injured. And Let's talk about your folks and the influences they have for you in the classroom, in the pool, and in general in life. Oh uh, yeah, one of my role models, my dad especially, uh, he, he's helped me through everything in life, and my mom as well as my, my coach Dave. He, he really helps uh, outside of school, outside of swim. They all help me through life. Jason, thanks for telling us your story and uh, continued success. All right, thank you. Abigail Eckenrode with us from the Scranton swimming team. And, uh, let's talk about the event you're competing in, Abigail. Um, I don't really compete in anything specific. Um, I'm mostly better at freestyle, but whatever my coach puts me in, whatever will score most for the team, I'm good with doing. How uh, long have you been in the pool swimming? Um, I've been swimming for about eight years, since I was eight years old, so a pretty long time. You also play some soccer. Uh, yeah. What do you enjoy about that sport? Um, I like the physical running, and it, it's different from swimming, different from the water, more land work, so it keeps me strong for swim season. You're involved with a few clubs at uh, Scranton, so tell us about what you're involved in and what you enjoy about it. Um, I'm involved in Penser. Um, it's a volunteer program, like a volunteer club. So we go to soup kitchens and we help people out there. We go to the cultural center and we help out with the Thanksgiving meals. We hand them out to um, underprivileged families who need it. So. Let's talk about the, some of the invitationals and that you're getting involved with, with the, the girls and the guys and some team bonding and just trying to get to know each other better. And maybe some long weekends or spending some time together. Yeah, they're very long weekends. Um, we spend a day or two together. There's a lot of downtime when you're not swimming, so it's good to talk to each other and maybe play some side games. It's fun. It's a good time. Well, when you're not with the swimming family, you're at home with the family. You got a pretty big one. Uh, you got an older sister, Monica, a younger brother, Matthew, and Isabel. Yeah. Take us through each of them in the family. Okay, my older sister, Monica, she goes to college at Temple. She wants to be a vet. Um, it's pretty big. That <laughs> it's is. Hard. Um, she's not really into a lot of sports, but she's really smart. So, um, then my younger brother Matthew, um, he plays baseball with Baseball U. Um, he plays basketball. Um, he's pretty much out there. He doesn't. He's not much of a swimmer, but he does a lot of other things. And then my younger sister Isabel, she's kind of young yet. We don't really know what she likes to do yet, but we're we'll see. <laughs> Math and science for the classroom for you, and another student does really well. Uh, yeah. We talked a little bit with your friend Jason, so talk about what it is about those subjects. Is it easy for you, or is it just a passion? Um, it's just kind of easy for me, but I do like math because there's always a set solution to something, not much thought into it. There's always a certain way to do it, so I like that. Folks are busy with uh, four kids, yeah. uh, and of course, uh, talk about uh, how they help you in whatever you're doing. Um, well, my dad likes to encourage me a lot and push me to do things maybe he didn't get to do when he was younger. Um, same thing with my mom. Um, she didn't have a lot of chances to do a lot, so she likes to encourage me to do that, and they really inspire me to go and do it and maybe get somewhere with it. College down the road, your sister maybe a vet down the road. How about yeah. for you? What are some things you're thinking right now? Um, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it, exploring my options, my different opportunities. We'll see. Take your time. Make sure it's right. <laughs> as you got another year to, to yeah. kind of start honing in on that. Abigail, thank you for your you're time welcome. and continued success in the pool. Thank you. Claire Breyer with us from the Scranton Swim Team here on the John Mandola Show at our Carolyn Janelle's Takeaway Kitchen. And, uh, it's your senior year, Claire, so uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, how much fun you're having. 
Yeah, it's been a really fun year. We're having a lot of fun so far with all the prep relays and everything and all the invitational meets. And just our normal meets, we're doing really well. Backstroke, uh, your favorite event? Yeah, I like to do backstroke. Talk about some other events that yeah, you maybe have to do to try to get some team points or, or just to try to better yourself a little bit. Um, I usually do the 200, and I did the 200 at Districts last year. I got second by .07 seconds, which sucked, but... 007, probably on that mirror of yours, huh? <laughs> <laughs> soccer is another sport you enjoy. Talk about that. Um, I was the captain of the soccer team for three years, and um, we didn't have a lot of success on the team, but it was a lot of fun. I got really close with those girls. Let's talk about the FBLA and, and reading competition for you. Um, I was the captain of the reading competition for three years, too, and it's just, um, they give you a list of books and you read them, and at the end of the year, you go up to a school and everybody has like a Jeopardy session. It's really fun. A handful of siblings, so uh, talk a little bit about uh, your relationships with them and what they're all up to. My older sister, Siobhan, just graduated from Penn State, where I also hope to go, and my older brother, Peter, is at the Georgia State University down in Atlanta. And my sister Anna goes to Scranton Prep. She's also a senior. She's my twin. How about the English for you and yeah. what you enjoy about it? Um, I really like reading. I just like to read everything. And my teacher is really cool, Mrs. Harding. And she just makes it a really fun discussion class. And we have a lot of fun. It's, uh, did you say you really like to read? Throw something out there as far as different books you're into, whether you're just into the, the books you need to read in school or if there's some other books that maybe you're reading at home on your own. Um, well, my favorite book is The Tree Girls in Brooklyn, and it's just, I think it's kind of a really relatable book, but recently we've been reading Shakespeare in class, and I think that's really cool. It's like, also really relatable, but it's from a while ago. It's just kind of fun to read. Well, awesome to hear that uh, Shakespeare's still shaking it up a little <laughs> bit with some people. Um, down the road, college for you is uh, maybe six months away or a yeah. little bit more. <laughs> Have you kind of figured out uh, your track or, or a school you may want to attend? I hope to go to Penn State. I haven't heard back from them yet, but not a lot of kids have. So I'm hoping that it's just taking a little bit to get my application in. But maybe St. John's as well. I'm not sure yet. All right. So either join the oldest sister or head to St. John's, <laughs> yeah. right? And uh, let's talk about some of the role models in your life. Oh, my mom and my dad. My mom has been really strong the past few years, and they've just really helped me through everything, and they've been really strong. Friendships here at Scranton, and, and what it's like to be a swimmer. You know, when, when people look at Scranton High School, they don't look at swimming as the, the biggest, strongest sport. Uh, but nonetheless, you're, you're there every day. You're working really hard, and you're having a lot of fun. And as Coach mentioned, there's a lot of students that are doing really well in the classroom and then complimentary doing yeah. some stuff uh, in the pool. Yeah, we're definitely one of the smartest teams in the school, but I've made a lot of great friends. Like, most of my best friends have been from the swim team, and it's just a really great experience to, like, be there every day with them and all these kids together. Well, it was a pleasure meeting your sister Anna earlier this year. Uh, my pleasure meeting you as well, and continued success. Thank you. Aiden Drouse joining us from the Scranton Swim Team here on the John Mandola Show. And uh, Aiden, let's talk about some of the events you're competing in this year. Um, I like to swim the 200 and the 100 freestyle at districts this year. I uh, also compete at the state of uh, state meet, hopefully. And uh, yeah, just with my relay teams and everything. How long have you been hitting that pool? How many years? Do you remember like since uh, you're a little kid? I started when I'm six. I'm 17 now, so 11 years. As far as uh, some of the things that you guys do as a group, any fun stuff you try to do with the other swimmers from time to um, time? Yeah, the relays are always pretty fun because it's kind of like a team effort. We're all just working together. Um, and really, a lot of it is just staring at the bottom of the pool, putting those hours in those labs. Let's talk about some of those clubs, including uh, Watershed. Uh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, it's uh, in, uh, I take AP Environmental Science, and the teacher selects five kids that... Uh, he thinks uh, are fit to uh, attend a field trip that we do once a month that just kind of like we learn about the environment and stuff like that like we go to the uh, water treatment plant um, and just kind of a lot of cool stuff like bike rides and hikes and stuff it's really cool history uh, one of your favorite subjects uh, uh, talk about why um, I just I at the moment right now I just have a pretty good teacher um, he teaches the subject really in depth I've always taken a liking to it it's been easy for me to understand how about the, the classroom, a 3.9 grade point average? Is, are, you, are you taking home 12 books a night? Is uh, it, yeah. some of it come natural? Talk about um, what the work ethic's like. A lot of it's just a lot of studying. I mean, I'm in a good amount of APs, 
So uh, those obviously take a lot of homework and putting in the work in. But um, yeah, you know, it's just kind of doing homework, paying attention in class, and getting it done. It's your junior year, but you're already thinking ahead. Say, hey, I think I'd like to swim in college. It's yeah. going to be a big commitment. Yeah, I'm talking to a couple of coaches right now, emailing them, just kind of like getting nothing really serious because I'm not a senior yet. But uh, you know, just keeping some schools in mind. Well, let's talk about uh, your dad and, and yeah. how he influences you and pushes um, you. Yeah, he's been my coach my whole life, so he's always kind of pushed me to my limits and knows where I can, what I can do, and he knows me better than I know myself. So, uh, you know, he's just making sure I'm the best I can be. How about the the sibling factor? Tell us a little bit about uh, uh, what you try to share with them. Um, me and my brother, I mean, we're always competing in the pool with each other. Uh, he's a breaststroker. I'm the freestyler, so uh, we go back and forth a lot. And uh, my older brother, Sean, he uh, attends Fordham uh, University in New York City, which is a goal of mine, hopefully, maybe to attend. And, um, and uh, yeah, they've always been pretty close to me. Aiden, uh, we, we appreciate your time and telling us your story with the Scranton Swim team, and uh, go get them the rest of this year. Thank you.